This video is about an epic journey along the Peruvian coast, an adventure to some of its wildest and most isolated areas. It's a video about the power of nature, the fragility of nature, the fragility of life. But most importantly, it's about being alive and appreciating the moment. As a traveling photographer, I sometimes enjoy the benefit of choosing where to be, and in some cases even when to be there. This time I'm with my family, and we're leaving behind the rains of the high Peruvian mountains as we journey for a little holiday towards the northern coastline. Over 2,000 kilometers away, calm beaches and warm waters await us. For some people, the emptiness, the quiet of the desert can be confronting. For me, I find it to be a place where you can gather your thoughts. And I'm seeing that it can be a giant playground. Much of the Peruvian coast has been spared from the harms of development. I think that the real reason is because it's just too inhospitable for humans. I want to feel this power of nature. I want to be reminded of it and I think that there's something to be learned from it. I'm already seeing that Mia has learned to adapt. With not much around, she finds fun and joy anywhere and everywhere. Hundreds of kilometers along the desert coastline reveal how surprisingly varied it can be. It's been shaped by who knows how many years of natural disasters and winds. But ultimately, there are hours and hours of monotony. As each day ends, we've got to look for a camping spot. Most coastal towns are too dangerous for a night in the camper. We find safety in the wilderness and the desert. Another morning waking up near the Panamericana. This time though we turn off to explore one of the most remote areas along the coast. Once upon a time there used to be a road here. Strong floods caused by the El Niño have reshaped the landscape. Our destination is one of the most rugged, unforgiving, 
yet one of the most stunning parts of the Peruvian coastline. I want my girls to experience it as I did a few years ago. We'll spend a couple of days here. During my last trip here, I was able to get down to the beach. Now high tide prevents me from getting closer to this huge colony of sea lions. Well, their stench that I remember so clearly can be felt from even up above. Dozens of vultures circle the beach in search of carcasses. I don't really like them. It feels like they're waiting, even like they're wishing for me to make one wrong move. The thing about these wide open expanses is that here, death cannot hide. Just hours before a tragedy took place, this boat overturned. Two men escaped. One drowned instantly and one is still missing. It's not uncommon for those who enter these waters to now live only in the memories of their friends and their families. Even the darkest of moments are made brighter by a child. Always concerned only with making the most of the moment. It's a good time to reflect on our journey so far. My daughter keeps reminding me of some of the crucial things in life. Yeah, it's a cliche, but as an adult it's easy to forget that there's only the present. The now. I just hope that she's learning from me as much as I'm learning from her. Thoughts of the drowned and the missing fishermen haunt my mind. And it seems that my anxiety must have been contagious. Because soon we're all up, going for a little night walk on the beach. This will be our final night on the Iescas Peninsula. A 
long drive takes us out of the wilderness to a populated part of the coast. I hadn't been here before. I wouldn't have taken this road if I knew what I'd see. Will nature ever forgive us? We stop at a fishing village, but today there's no fishing. The sea is too rough. It feels like a strange and neglected place. I wonder how many villages like this are out there. Only a couple of hundred kilometers remain until our final destination. Even small towns feel like megapolises after days in the wilderness. I don't know, I feel like something profound happens inside you when you experience the extremes. You definitely gain a new perspective on everything. We've arrived. Our little spot is away from the resorts and the loud towns. It has been quite a journey to get here. The great thing about the nomadic life it's not easy, but we do get a chance to enjoy some truly special places. For the next few weeks, this will be our home. 